A Green Kid's Guide to Watering Plants by Richard Lay, illustrated by Laura Zarin. Are you ready to plant? Gardeners are people who grow plants. Being green means learning how to live on earth without hurting it. You have been working hard to be a green gardener. You've built your raised bed and made compost and you've fertilized your soil. Now it is time to plant and water your fruits and vegetables. Green gardeners understand that plants need water, but they do not waste it. Green gardeners learn how to arrange their plants to conserve water. Study, study, study. A green gardener learns about plants before planting them. Different plants have different needs. Some plants need a lot of water to grow. Others need little water. A green gardener also learns about the weather where he or she lives. Some places get a lot of rain. Others get little rain and a lot of sun. Some areas have soil that won't grow certain plants. A green gardener grows only what is best for his or her area. Study what will grow best in your area. Then make a list of what plants to put in your raised bed. Where to plant? When you are studying, you probably noticed that plants need different amounts of water. Plants that grow on vines, such as cucumbers, need less water. Other plants, like beans, need more water. A green gardener can conserve water by planting in groups. Grow vegetables with vines together. Grow beans in another part of the garden. Then you will not waste water on plants that may not need it. Another way to conserve water is to grow plants in squares instead of rows. When the plants are older, their leaves touch each other. This makes a covering over the bed and reduces evaporation. It's time to plant. To plant seeds or seedlings, first smooth the soil with a rake. Remove any rocks, sticks, or trash. Cover the soil with compost, then water it to make it moist, but not soggy. To plant seeds, take a small stick and make rows. Make holes the right depth for the seeds. Larger seeds should be down about one inch or three centimeters. Smaller seeds should stay at the top of the soil. It is best to put two or more seeds in each hole. That way you can be sure to get plants in every hole. Finally, after planting the seeds or seedlings, check the soil. Do not let it dry out. Green gardeners keep soil moist. Are they thirsty? Your seeds are planted and shoots are coming out. A green gardener checks the soil every day to see if the plants need water. Plants use their roots to drink. Roots have little hairs that take water from the ground. Then the water is sent to the rest of the plant. So plants can only get water that is underground. Some gardeners use too much water. They waste it. This is a problem. Our planet has little water to use for people and plants. Green gardeners understand that plants need water, but they do not waste it. Green gardeners conserve water. Plants hate showers. Some gardeners make a big mistake. They give their plants showers. They use sprinklers in the garden, but plants hate showers. They love baths. Sprinklers put most of the water on the leaves, but plants cannot get water through the leaves. They can only get water from the roots. One of the best ways to get water to the roots is to use soaker hoses. These are water hoses with little holes in them. When you turn on the faucet, water slowly drips into the ground. Water then goes to the roots. 
Some gardeners place their soaker hoses near where the plant goes into the ground. To use less water, green gardeners bury their soaker hoses. That way, the water comes out by the roots. When to give your plants a drink. To check the soil, pick up a handful of dirt and squeeze it. If you can make a ball, do not add water. If you cannot make a ball, your soil is dry. It is time to water your plants. Green gardeners water in the morning. This is when the air is cooler, so more water gets in the ground, and they use less water. The amount of time you water depends on your plants and soil. After watering for a while, dig down 12 inches or 30 centimeters in the raised bed. If the bottom of the hole is damp, you have watered enough. Stop losing water. The sun can evaporate water in the ground. It makes water hot and changes it into a gas. The gas then rises because of this soil loses water. Soil with no covering loses a lot of water. A green gardener conserves water by making a covering for the soil. You can cover the garden soil with compost. Another covering for your garden is mulch. Straw is good mulch. Old newspapers can be mulch. Both will help keep water in the soil. It is important to cover soil in the fall and winter. A good covering for this time of year is winter, ryegrass. It will also give plants food in the spring. Harvest the rain. A green gardener can also conserve water by saving rain. During the summer, it may not rain very much. This is not a problem. With an adult's help, you can collect rain by making a rain barrel. A green gardener uses the water in the rain barrel to reduce the water taken from earth. And this water is free of chemicals that may hurt his or her plants. You need water. Plants need water. But a green gardener does not waste water. A green gardener conserves it. The end.